guys welcome to this video let us start uvm tutorial with understanding uvm report macros there are four uvm report macros we generally use in our uvm test bench uvm info uvm warning uvm error and uvm fatal these four uvm report macros are very much useful for the user who is simulating the design and he will understand what is going on during the simulation let us understand these four usage by writing a simple test bench and let us use those in the test bench for reporting. So you can see here, I am writing a simple Verilog module as a test bench top, module tb underscore top indicating the name of the module. Before this, I am including uvm underscore macros dot svh file. This file contains all the uvm macros. So the reporting macros what we are using here in this example are, are defined in this uvm macros.svh file. So first we need to include this while writing any uvm code. And then we need to import the uvm package. This uvm underscore pkg consisting of all the uvm base classes. The which are the base classes required for constructing the test bench. All those base classes of uvm will be present in this uvm package so first these two lines are mandatory in any uvm test bench we are going to write then within the module i am trying to use all these four report macros so first within the initial begin i am writing a conventional display method what we are going to use in system verilog or in verilog to display any message in the test bench we are going to use this dollar display and within the braces in the double quote, we are going to write whatever the message we are supposed to print. Here I am printing. This is how you see using Dara display. This is the message is going to be printed in zero simulation time. At the same time, I am using UVM info to display the same kind of message. But UVM info is going to take three arguments like Tick UVM info is the macro we are supposed to use. The first component is the ID. This ID indicates from which component or from which module you are printing this message. So in place of ID, I am writing it as TB underscore top. You can write it as test bench top, whatever, which is convenient to you. So this indicating that particular module or a component or a particular class. Then the second thing is the message what we are going to print. Here how I have written, this is how you, are, uh, you see using dollar display. Similarly here I have written, this is the message to print. And the third thing is the verbosity level. This verbosity level is usually a UVM medium. And if you want to change this verbosity level, according to your usage, you can change. But if I am going to mention UVM medium here, if the verbosity level is above this, this message will print. So this is the other discussion. Let us not go into the verbosity level now. So three components we need to give here in UVM info. And UVM warning also I am using here. After some 10 time units, I am using tick UVM warning. Here it takes two components. One is the ID and the one is the message what we are going to print. This UVM warning will be used to indicate some, there might be a chance of going the simulation in the wrong way. Or we say, we need to indicate a warning to the user, R1 who doing the simulation. In such cases, we are going to use UVM warning. This warning is not a high priority one compared to UVM error. So low priority or low severity things we are going to write in UVM warning. This will not halt your simulation. This will not disturb your simulation at any point of time. Next, I am using tick UVM error. This reporting macro we are going to use when there is a chance of error. Suppose if I am going to take a condition we are checking in the test bench. If that condition satisfies, there are set of statements to be executed. If it fails, if it is not available, then it will be a error from the test bench side. This is, I am telling this is from the test bench side, not from the DUT. So we need to indicate that error, we have not got something with respect to that condition, UVM error is used. 
here in uvm error again we need to indicate the id or the module or the component class which we are using this uvm error and here we need to type whatever the message it is required and we have and this uvm error also not halt the simulation but it will indicate you the severity that something goes wrong and the next thing is uvm fatal this uvm fatal can be used when there is a fatal error occurred in the simulation we need to stop the simulation in such cases uvm fatal is going to be used again it will take an id and then the message to be printed so here i have used some delays with respect to these particular lines to show you how actually these uvm warning error and fatals are going to be printed in the console and then end module let me run this code and see how actually these macros are going to be printed in the log or in the console for the simulation i am using here cadence excelium simulator and you need to choose the language as system verilog or verilog with uvm so you can see here this is the log i am going to get uh here in the first line i am getting the dollar display thing what i am uh, going to print if you use the dollar display it is just display the things whatever you are trying to print over here it will be not indicating any time or it is not indicating from which module you are sending the message or it is just a message to display it is like a uh, message displaying a string in the same way if you use the uvm info the advantage here is that this is uvm info and it will show you from which module this message is printed from which line it is printing and which time it is printing which simulation time and it is from the reporter and here is the id what you have mentioned and this is the message what you have mentioned over here if you if you can see the clear cut difference between the dollar display and the uvm info and similarly if it is a uvm warning you are using to display some message you can see uvm info is in blue color uvm warning is in orange color and this also prints all the things you can see here it is at 10 time minutes so after 10 time minutes i am displaying using this that's why you can see here at which time i am getting this warning you can see uh, that particular time in the waveform or the signal uh, which you are going to refer and you can get this things what is happening similarly uvm error and uvm fatal are going to be displayed in red color with the time duration and the reporting message so this kind of display are we are going to get in the log or in the console if you are going to use uvm reporting macros in the dollar display we are going to get only the message we are missing out from which module it is printing or from which time minute we are getting the error or we need to manually we need to set if you want to display the id again here i need to use like tb underscore top is printing this message something like this i need to manually add every time with the message itself but uvm info is going to take this as the thing required so we are not going to miss out mentioning this so this is the advantage of uvm macros compared to the uh, normal display method what we are going to use in system verilog or in verilog so this is how we can use make use of these uvm macros and these uvm macros are very helpful in debugging you can see the reports also after that uh, the report summary you can see uvm info is 2 uvm warning is 1 uvm error is 1 uvm fatal is 1 so this is a advantage we are going to get in using uvm macros so in the next video let's see more about uvm and let us also write some uh, uvm test benches thank you